What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. So before we start today, I wanna let you guys know that these videos are a little bit out of order. So I'm going out of town this week with my dad and I explained that in the video that I filmed previously, but I made a huge mistake and I actually left my camera at home and I was gonna edit that video for you guys, but can't edit it. So just know that this video comes after a couple of the videos that you guys will see after this one. That's probably really confusing, but in today's vlog, this is probably one of the very last Evo updates that you guys will see. So the videos that I was gonna put out for you guys, I did get a new exhaust for the Type R. You guys will see that video on Monday now, I guess. For today's video, it's going to be one of the very last updates on the Evo. The Evo is almost done, and so my dad flew all the way from Mississippi to come visit me in San Diego. I took him up to come see the Evo for the first time. It was actually really good timing because Evo is gonna be done in one week so I actually needed to grab this this is about to get painted a whole new color it's really gross right now and it has some scratches on it this is about to look like brand new you guys will see that very soon I wanted to give you guys a full update on the Evo and how it sits right now because it's about to be insane guys and this is definitely one of a kind so hope you guys really enjoy this uh, here it is this is for you, John. Dad, what do you think? Unbelievable. So this is how the whole setup is right now. This is the first time you guys are seeing actually the intercooler connected with the charge pipe. Obviously you can see the head of the motor because we have the valve cover off to get painted, but this is how it sits. We've got our blow off valve that sticks out right here of the bumper, which is so gnarly. We're gonna, I'm gonna put this on so you guys can see what it looks like, but we have the radiator in now, huge intercooler core that's kind of off-centered in the front because of the turbo. We've got the huge comp turbo and then the full custom manifold right here. This is just wild. And then we have the wastegate right here. Also, we have the radiator and we have the new radiator lines, all steel braided, very, very heavy duty. So there's gonna be one right here. And then the second one runs from here down to right there. You can see like this is kind of brushed right now. All of this is getting sent out to be polished. So it'll look identical to like the manifold and the turbo. Everything under the engine bay is gonna be fully polished and it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be insane. This is turning out to be way cooler than I've ever, ever expected. And it's gonna be so worth it. And I'm so excited. I, I know this car has been here for over a month now, but it's worth it every way. And I say this every time, but this is not something that you can buy over the shelf. This is a one of one manifold fold set up. Oh man, it's just, it's unbelievable. And Entice Motorsports and Jonathan have done such a good job with it and taking care of it. It's turning out to be really, really awesome. So all of this will be cleaned up before it's finished as well. And just imagine all of this polished. The intercooler and tanks will be polished. It's, it's going to be unbelievable guys. So they actually just finished this charge pipe last night. That came out really, really good. All completely custom fabricated all the way down here. And then they mounted actually the flange for the blow off valve and welded it onto the actual intercooler, which is, that's unbelievable. Like this is 10 out of 10 production quality and the first start of this thing is going to be mind blowing. When you hear this for the first time and when we go drive it for the first time, the spool sounds, especially because for those of you who don't know, the exhaust is gonna start at the back end of the turbo and it's gonna route out the hood right here. And then we're actually going to rotate the wastegate this way and the wastegate's gonna go under the manifold through here out the hood as well. So both exhaust and wastegate out the hood. So we're gonna see flames, we're gonna have the whole turbo spool and especially with the turbo sitting up front as well as the blow off valve, it's just gonna be turbo noises constantly. It's gonna be so rad. Also, when we took the valve cover off, we were able to take a look at the head of the motor, which looks very, very healthy. The oil looks good. Usually something to note if your head's going bad 
It'll look very, very green, brownish, and not good at all. But this one actually looks very healthy, Jonathan said. So when this thing is done, we'll obviously change the oil before the dyno tune. And then after the dyno tune, do another oil change and it should be solid. Also, the manifold is now fully permanently on. We have it all bolted up along with the gasket behind it. So this thing is ready to go. This is crazy. Now that you guys know what's exactly done, let's talk about what needs to be done and is still left to do. Dude, John, this is unbelievable, bro. I hope you like it, man. Dude, it's I think gonna everybody's gonna like it. Dude, especially right now, it's not the finished result. The metal finish is still a little bit on the raw side, but once we finish everything, we'll send it out to get pumped. Yeah, so <laughs> even though we have a lot of progress on the motor so far, we still have stuff left to do. Yeah. What else is left? So a custom reservoir, we gotta do the downpipe, downpipe, put cut out, a hood plate, so that when we make the cutout, it's just not a hole on there. Yeah. It has a design to the hood. Yeah. Uh, relocate the battery to the trunk, relocate the power steering reservoir, the valve cover, mm -hmm. how to coat it, CNC it, engrave it. I mean, there's still yeah. a ton of stuff to be yeah. done. Yeah. It's all of like the little stuff that comes with making a custom kit like this, because I mean, we deleted AC. This car doesn't have AC anymore. We're doing an oil catch can, a reservoir. When you do something custom like this, there's a lot more that goes into it than just installing the manifold and the turbo. So that's why it's taking so long and being such a process because Jonathan and Tice Motorsports literally have to build everything step by step. So they put something on and then it's like, oh yeah, we need to move this, we need to delete this. So next week should be the week where we actually get to start this thing up and it's ready to go. So this is actually an Evo 10 motor, but to give you guys an idea, of how the exhaust will look. So here's the backing of this turbo. My exhaust will be just like this. This is the polished finish that I'm getting. We're gonna heat wrap it halfway just to keep all the lines and stuff from melting. But when it gets closer to dumping out the hood, this is in a way the design that you guys will see on the car. Also, my Tomei exhaust is still for sale. This thing is practically brand new. I had it for maybe a month and then I dropped this car off to get the turbo bill and we decided not to do exhaust at the back. So this thing is like a month or so old. So if you're interested in this in the test pipe, please get in touch with me. My email is on the screen. San Diego, LA area only, please. I'd rather not ship. It's been so long because I've actually sat in this car. I miss driving this thing so much. This is one of the most raw and fun cars I've ever driven and it's been such a long time since I've actually been able to sit in this car and the clutch in this car is ridiculous. It's super heavy, way heavier than any of my cars, but I'll give you guys a little future planning right now. So once the Evo is done and I'm able to drive it for a few months, I wanna bring this car back and I'm actually gonna get this entire thing gutted, rear seat delete, do a full cage, like welded to the chassis and everything with, we've already marked it kind of, gussets and everything. So after the motor's done, I plan on doing interior work and making this thing all around just a really really gnarly track inspired build it's gonna be cool damn with the bumper my favorite part about this car is the off-center intercooler he did it very unique, and Teist was able to mount the turbo here and directly mount the turbo with basically no piping to the intercooler, which gives it that off-center look. And then the blow-off valve sits right here, so you'll be able to hear all of the great, amazing turbo noises. And then when you look at it up front, you can still see the wastegate and the manifold directly through this grill portion. The reason why we did the off-center intercooler with the turbo it, the reason why they want it in the front is because it's cooler, it runs a lot cooler, it's getting completely fresh air, it's not soaking up any of the heat from inside, and it's a direct shot in, into the um, inner cooler, so there's less travel for the pressure. So Which in return, less, less lag, so. Right, the less piping you have, the faster you're gonna get a response. To it. uh, it's pressurizing a lot faster than if we were running a bunch of piping. Think, everything you expected? Unbelievable, more than I expected. That's crazy. Jonathan still has his RX-7 here. This thing has been fully restored and complete, so 
Is that all new bags, sheets, everything? So good, so good. Okay, so, like I said earlier, I accidentally left my other camera with my memory card at home to edit the video that was supposed to go up today, which was the exhaust video, but the reason behind all of that was that me and my dad are actually going out of town. So this is kind of weird and kind of funny, but my dad is a huge, huge Ancient Aliens fan. If you guys know what that is, it's like an alien conspiracy TV show, and it's Father's Day, so, so I'm taking my dad to something called Alien Con, which is like a convention with like all the people from the shows that he watches back at home, and uh, we're just gonna spend the weekend together and have some fun. If the coming videos are a little bit short, that's why. I wanted to make sure to make videos and not leave you guys without content, so, uh, cause I'll be gone for an entire week and I won't be able to make videos, so I wanted to make sure that you guys have content, so I apologize if the coming videos are a little bit short, but what'd you think, Dad? Absolutely unbelievable. You like it? Ever expected. Yeah. We're gonna head to Pasadena now and I'll see you guys when we get there. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of the exhaust since I wasn't able to upload that video today. You guys can hear it from the inside. Still pretty quiet, but it sounds really good. So we'll see you guys when we get to the hotel. finally made it to the hotel guys I'm just finishing up this video for all of you um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog the Evo is so close to being done and I'm so excited to show you guys so uh, I'll keep you updated on that but I will see you guys in the next vlog thank you very much for watching peace out